Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming a shop with me and I'm finally dipping my toes into the world of Asian beauty products. I feel like a lot of Western beauty brands are coming up with products that are heavily influenced by the Asian beauty space. So I wanna go straight to the source and see what their beauty innovations are like. I'm not going to be shopping for a full face today. I'm going to be focusing on cheeks, eyes, and lips just so that I don't get overwhelmed because this is a whole new world for me. And today I'm going to be shopping on Yes Style. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So like I said, I'm going to be focusing on eyes, cheeks, and lips. So let's get into it. Let's start off with cheeks and let's go with blush first. So already the packaging is so freaking cute. I'm immediately drawn to these little hearts. These are balmy blushes, it looks like. So I'm going to check that out. The campaign imagery is just so freaking cute. <laughs> and I am very tempted to get this pink color. This looks really, really cute. Okay, let's see if they have any cheek swatches. Okay, I'm very into the looks of 02 Innocent Pink and 03 Mood Rose. I think I'm going to like build up my dream cart, then cut it down. I think that's gonna help me. I said Mood Rose and Innocent Pink. Ooh, the colors in here are so cute. The Etude, Etude, Etude? <laughs> the Etude House. I think this is Etude House, I believe. I'm very new to this, so do not come for me. These look really cute from Etude. These are the lovely cookie blushers. And just the color story here looks so freaking cute. Like these lilacs and these cool pinks are just all of them actually. Like even these more beigey toned blushes look really, really nice. Even the editor's note here sounds lovely. Silky soft blush translates so lovely pink or peachy shades when applied on skin. Smooth and creamy formula allows the blush to glide on with ease. Sounds good to me. Let's buy them all. Just kidding. Strawberry shoe is cute. Grapefruit jelly is so cute. I want to love a lilac blush, but I don't know if it translates well on my skin tone. I feel like it looks really good on medium skin, but we'll see. Like this lavender lemon macaron is so cute. <laughs> and most of them are out of stock, but lavender lemon macaron is not. So I'm going to add that one to cart just for now. Let's, why not? Ooh, these Juicy Pang Jelly Blushers. Jelly Blushers sounds really fun. I just love how these are named. Like some of them just sound so satisfying. Like this Fluffy Air Blusher. Oh, like this one is Beam Cheek. So I wonder if that's like a glowy version instead of a Balm Cheek. I'll have to check that out. See, I'm just gonna open these in different tabs so I don't forget to check these all out. Oh, and they have cushion blushes too. The Face Shop. Oh, I recognize that from a lot of your recommendations. I'm gonna see this. I wanna see this. I wanna see this. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> Maybe it won't be so bad after we move past blush because we all know I'm a blush fiend. Pastel blushers. I just don't know how, how that would show up on my skin. Oh, this gradient one. This cotton mix blusher. You like the looks of that one too? Kitchen intermission time. These are kind of cute, like these little split pans. I'm down to try. Okay, I feel like I should leave some excitement for future videos. I'm gonna start off with that. So let's see these jelly blushers. Really cute packaging. Sorry, I don't know. Ren's trying to seal the show. <laughs> don't. You're gonna, he's rubbing on the camera. Okay. Hey, we kind of match today. You just need some pink blush. Can you sit here? <laughs> Ooh, the shade Fig looks gorgeous. So does Plum and Apple. Oh, I wish they had cheek swatches. That's okay. Um, I think I wanna add Fig to my cart for sure. Or Plum. Fig just looks like a really nice rosy kind of brown. Grape looks really cute too, but I don't think they have it. I'm looking in my notes here. I did pull some cheek swatches actually. So these are some of the colors, like fig looks gorgeous. Grape is cute, but I don't see it offered here. Plum is really cute. All of these are really nice. Apple is so nice. It's a brick red color. Oh, I'm very into these three right here. Grape, fig, and plum. I want all of those right now. Like I want all those fruits. <laughs> oh, they do have grape on here. That's grape news going to my cart. So is fig. Cushion blushes? 
I haven't tried a cushion blush in forever, probably since Kaja Beauty. I feel like I'm gonna save this for another time. I don't feel as excited about these as the other ones I was drawn to. These are the About Tone Fluffy Air Blushers. Ooh, really pretty marketing. Really pretty packaging too. Oh, they kind of look like one of those silicone-y, soft, silky textures. Ooh, I want that on my cheeks right now. Oh, and they can go on the eyes too. Okay. Bebe Coral. That's such a cute name. Cool Summer Pink. That'd be really fun to use as like the pink under eye trend too and on the eyes. Ooh. I'm going to try out Cool Summer Pink. Zero two. Let's just try it. And if I like it, I can get more shades, you know? Like it's not the last time I'm doing this. So these are the other one, the Love Beam. So I wonder what's the difference. Oh, these are powder blushes instead of cream. That's fun too. The heart packaging is just too much to bear. It's freaking so cute. <laughs> I can't deal. The shade five is really, really nice. Oh, look at this, perfect. I really am drawn to the shade five, five and four. French Marsala, that's a cart. These look so fun. Oh, I wish they had cheek swatches. Melted Marshmallow. It's like a beautiful gradient blush. Ooh, it sounds really nice. It looks like it's going to be kind of a blurring formula and it's a elastic powder for a sebum resistant effect. So it's going to help look really matte throughout the day. Really cute. I'm kind of really into the cotton candy one. What was it, the actual color? Melted Marshmallow. We'll see. We'll see if I end up purchasing that. And these are the blusher box, like a dream collection. Oh, they, oh no, that's the outer packaging. I was like, that looks like a glitter bomb. <laughs> it looks fine. I'm not as enticed by these ones. Okay, I think that's, that's good for blush as I continue scrolling. Yeah, I think I'm good. These ones really caught my eye when I was first scrolling. These Juicy Pang water blushers. I just feel like they might be too similar to the uh, M Cosmetic Serum blushes for me. That's a formula that I'm kind of falling out of love with. I just find it to be way too dewy on my skin and I don't like how my hair sticks into it all the time. So I think I'm gonna let it go, but just like the packaging and everything like that, I'm just so enticed by. I just like to look at it so much. <laughs> So now that I'm done with blush, let's go with bronzer. I don't know if I'm gonna get a bronzer, but we'll see. Bronzer or contour, I mean. So let's see. Yeah, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Let's go to highlighter. I feel like they're gonna have some fun ones. Ooh, like these Clio Prism highlighters. These look really sparkly. I'm gonna put that in a new tab. Oh, they have little hearts. Oh, I used to love the Kaja Beauty one. Really fun. Um, ooh, this Mix Blurring Volume Highlighter sounds really interesting and it looks really enticing too. So I'm gonna try that. A lot of you recommended me to try out these eyeshadows from this brand, the 3CE, the three concept eyes. So I might check that out later on once we get into the eye section. What are these Get It Glam glosses? Ooh, that looks so cool. Okay, let's check out what I put into different tabs. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the prism highlighters so they are pretty pearlescent hydrating Ooh, this fairy pink looks fairly interesting <laughs> you know what it kind of reminds me of is the nabla highlighters what is it called i forget or the amrezy highlighter from abh way back in the day do you get that vibe too i kind of just like from how it's pressed in the wave you know and it looks like a really nice beaming highlighter, which might be fun. I'm really interested in the fairy pink one. I don't have that many pink highlights, but it looks so cute topped onto like a pink blush. So I'm gonna put that one in my bag, the fairy pink. These look adorable. It's the heart packaging, man. I just can't get over it. And it's pearly. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice texture shot. It looks like the highlighters I get along with. It doesn't look very glittery or chunky. It's very consistent looking. Ooh, this shade looks so cute. Holy Beam. I really like that. This one I think will be way too icy for my skin, but this will be like a cool pink icy tone. Wow, the imagery, a very euphoria or something. I'm really drawn to this one. I really like how many like texture shots they have. I think that is so amazing. Lily by Red. I don't really recognize the name, but I'm really drawn to them. So let's see. This is the one I wanted, right? Yeah. The other one is out of stock. 
I almost... <gasps> so this is a that really interesting one. This is a highlighter that combines matte and shimmery formulations. It's a finely milled powder that adheres perfectly. So it sounds cool. I feel like it's going to give like a really natural, very pearly, very polished kind of look. You can see it goes matte to shimmery. Oh, see? That is fun to look at. Ooh, so the matte side looks like this and then it gradiates to that. That's cool. I'm going to heavily consider it. So now let's move on to eyes. There's a few palettes I was looking at yesterday. Most of them were by Romand. Let's start off with eyeshadow palettes. So yes, so let's start here. There's one in a different section, but these palettes, I feel like they're so well organized and put together. Like they look stunning, especially this cool toned one. I've been thinking about that one quite a bit. And this glitter palette, I thought that was so fun and I don't really have anything like that. So these, this is the swatches of the glitter palette, the translucent ones to everyday ones, really cool. I feel like there's gonna be some really nice toppers and some really like interesting ones for fun looks. And then they have these really nice matte palettes too. And I thought that this was so interesting and it just made sense to put the images of the palettes in black and white so you can really tell the difference between the tones, especially this one. This one's really satisfying to my eyes, like a perfect shade gradient. Really, really nice. Ooh. So this is swatches of that glitter palette I'm interested in. So there's some really nice kind of sheer topper ones and then these really fun ones with some chunkier glitter. See, like they're just all so gorgeous. <laughs> What am I gonna do? I love this organization, just to see every shade swatched on the eye on its own. Really satisfying. <laughs> oh, this Pampas Garden one is stunning. Very peachy. Mahogany Garden, this is the one I am heavily considering. I feel like it's such a pretty everyday palette and it has such a variety of textures and really nice mattes but I wanna get like a fun one, a versatile one, and maybe the glittery one, like this matte one. Look at this dusty fog garden. Okay, let's just look at each palette. So, oh, dusty fog garden is gone, no. Okay, peach dahlia, so cute. See, the color stories are just so satisfying and I love how they organize them, like it just makes sense and it doesn't look overwhelming. Ooh, this one's really cute, very future garden. Peony Nude Garden, oh, that's cute. With the cool pinks, very. Shade and Shadow Garden, very pale. I feel like I wouldn't use this one as much. It doesn't have enough depth for me. This one's really, really nice. It's like a dusty rose shade, I mean palette. Mahogany Garden, I think about, I've been thinking about for a while. <laughs> Pampas Garden, really, really nice. It's kind of a peachier palette and light glitter palette, which is just so fun. I'm gonna add this one to my bag as well as the Mahogany Garden. And there's another one in a different section that I was looking at and I pulled it up here. It's the Milk Grocery Edition. I thought that this one was so cute and look at the imagery. I thought it was so fun. It's like a milkshake. Ooh, just stunning. Yeah, I like how this one has some like cooler tones to it. So I have a warm tone palette, a cool toned one, and the glittery one. And look at this glitter in here, it's so interesting. Okay, so I think I'm. that's going to be it for eyeshadow palettes. I did have a link to one other one here from 3CE. Oh no, these are the uh, eye switches. I've seen so many recommendations on these ones. Maybe petal would be cute. Maybe petal, I'll try petal. I feel like it'll suit a lot of the colors I'm kind of gravitating towards this time around. I guess I should browse the other eyeshadow palettes before really deciding here, so I'm just going to take a quick peek. I really like how these nine pan eye palettes are organized. I think they're really satisfying to look at. And these longer ones too are really cute. These kind of remind me of the Romand ones. Yeah, this one, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, what's this? It's in my cart already. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save some surprises for another time. I'm really happy with the palettes I picked out, but now let's go to a different category. Let's see, uh, just like single eyeshadows. Ooh, blessed moon, like a shadow, six colors. Let's see what these look like. Oh, so they're like pretty chunky glitter. Okay. I don't think I'll pick that up this time, but they look cute. <laughs> oh, these are cute little duos. It's like I'm shopping for makeup for the first time. It's exhilarating. <laughs> There's just so many things for my eyes to look at. Ooh, they have glitter palettes. Let's see, cute. It'd be so fun to do like a full face of some of these brands too. 
Let me know. <laughs> okay, I think I'm okay. If, ooh, what's this? <laughs> Five glitter types? What does that mean? Please have swatches. No. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a guessing game. It's okay, I'm not going to get those. Let's check out eyeliners. Oh, there's like a little pink felt tip or something. That's kind of fun. I might want to look at that a little closer. <laughs> I don't really know if I am interested in any of these really. There was some Lani don't. She's playing with some of my stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> there was actually, there was a set of liners that I'm remembering, but I don't see them right here. They have the Clio Gel Presso. I remember, oh, they're right here. <laughs> they're right in front of my eyes. Yeah, these ones, Gel Presso eyeliners. I like it because it's Espresso eyeliners. <laughs> and the colors look nice. I liked, I liked the range. Like six and four look very unique to me. So there's a black brown, a deep brown, basic brown, gray brown, mute brown, and soft brown. So that's fun. Like the soft brown would be really cool for like softer looks. And I don't have a gray liner actually. I do have like the Nobla one, but it's a little bit sheer. So I'm kind of down to try four, five, six maybe. Let's just try maybe four and six. Let's see. Uh oh, the one I really wanted is out of stock. But let's just try the gray one maybe. I'll put that in my, my bag. But the, yeah, the color story just enticed me. <laughs> it caught my eye. Okay, so mascara time. Oh, actually, I wanna check out some false lashes. There was a set here. Oh yeah, this one, these false lash set. It has a couple different styles in one. So it has some W lashes or V lashes and these like spikier wisps. And they have a bunch of different sizes so I can really customize my lash effect. I thought this was so fun. So definitely going to be adding that. There was some other ones too that were interesting like these talk talk ones they're kind of a similar thing but they they have a bunch of different styles too yeah there's various lengths and they even have some combos for you to try which is so helpful i think i'll try the other set first but it's just set up really nice like very pleasing to the eye <laughs> i don't know what are these ones they're kind of like softer spikes I kind of like that. I'm gonna try to add that to my bag. <laughs> I've been really getting into eyelashes again, especially the ones that are just little clumps. I feel like they're so much easier to apply and wear, they're much more comfortable. And I like how it's a customizable lash band that you can do, like you can do anything, it's so fun. Okay, I think I'm happy with what I've got, but let's check out some of the mascaras. There's a lot of mascara recommendations. The one I saw the most was Clio. Ooh, what is, do they have gray mascara? I don't think I've ever seen that actually. Long Ash, Long Hazel. How interesting. I have never seen that before, but I am very, very, very interested in that. Let's try that. And I want the hazel one too. <laughs> I love brown mascara. So let's see, there was a Clio one that I know a lot of people were. I think it might be the Kill Lash Super Proof. Yeah, I think it, that was, it was the Clio one. Oh, do they have different colors too? Oh, what? No. <laughs> Rose brown, long curling, volume curling, sleek volume, choco brown. Let's go with volume curling. And now let's get into lips, which I have a huge list of lips. <laughs> I have a huge list of lip products. This is one of them, the Juicy Lasting Tints from Romand. A lot of them are from Romand. <laughs> so the Juicy Water Tints. Here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Open a bunch of tabs so we can check these all out so I don't forget. The Itsud Fixing Tints, the Ink Velvets. There's 39 colors, no way, that's gonna be impossible. The Glasting Water Tints. Sounds so nice and hydrating. The Juicy Lasting Tints. I think I already pulled those. This looks like a deep, like fall kind of tone. Let's see that, there's more shades right here. And there's the Ink Airy Velvet, which I don't know what the difference is between the velvets and the Airy Velvets. Honestly, the naming of the lip products just makes me thirsty. Like Dufal Water Tint sounds so delicious <laughs> and refreshing. Oh, the Peri Para Water Bare Tints. Oh, and there's another one, what was it called? From a different brand, Amuse Tints. Amuse Tints. Over here, these ones. Dewy Blur Tints, 
Sounds fun. <laughs> I think I'm in my heaven right now. Just so many cute, fun makeup products that I've never seen before, never tried before. See, like I'm gonna have to do a million of these videos. Like look at all these products. I'm so intrigued by every single one. How am I supposed to pick? Okay, let's just see what I have right now. So these are the Juicy Lasting Bear Tints. These are the limited edition colors. Bear Juicy series. Pamelo Skin. Oh, this is so nice. Nucadamia. Oh, that's so nice too. And this is so nice too. I'm really interested in Bear Grape and Nucadamia. No. Okay, Nucadamia. <laughs> so now let's see these fixing tints. Ooh, the texture of these look really nice. I thought they were gonna be a little bit glossy, but they look like that air whipped kind of soft texture, but it looks like they set down. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, like fixing tint. Hello. Soft walnut, cranberry plum looks really pretty. Dusty beige looks really pretty. God, how am I supposed to do this? I really like how they show the gradient too. So if you wanna like kind of wear it more sheer or like do the gradient lip effect like this, really helpful. Ooh, Vintage Red is stunning. I really like Midnight Mauve. And they do combos? Stop, that is genius. I think Midnight Mauve is the one I'm most intrigued by. So these Ink Velvets, there's a bajillion colors. <laughs> so many colors. So what do these look like? I like the container. At first I thought these were blushes. Cute. Number 38 is really fun. Oh, these look really, really airy and nice. I guess that's where the name comes from. Bright pink is really cute. Enjoy Mute is really nice too. Spring Salmon is so cute. Really nice story. I like Spring Salmon and I like Bright Pink. Holy moly, there's so many, peop so many people. <laughs> yes, uh, so many colors. Bright Pink and Spring Salmon. Let's just try those, okay? Oh, these glassing water tints sound divine. So these look like kind of glossier um, stains. They kind of remind me, like the descriptions kind of sound like the Rare Beauty lip oils that just came out. So I'm interested in trying some of these. Rose Splash or Rose Splash looks really nice. Vintage Ocean looks really, really nice. I'm gonna try those. Oh, oh, oh God, it scares me every time when I see Vintage Ocean and Rose Stream. Okay, I'm gonna have a bajillion lip products. <laughs> it's just gonna be one huge lip swatch video. I'm not really interested in those colors. Ooh, okay. Maybe it's this one that reminded me of the Rare Beauty lip colors. Fig Fig is stunning. I'm getting Fig Fig for sure. And Dragon Pink is so cute. Fig Fig and Dragon Pink. Oh, I guess I'm just getting Fig Fig. <laughs> the other shades are out of stock. The velvet airy colors, ooh. See, now they're, oh, they're just gonna take all my money. What are you, Fig? It's cute. <laughs> Okay, I need to save some stuff for another time. I'm just going to dewy full water tint. Leaves with dewy gloss, sweet rain on the lips. Oh, that sounds delightful. Mmm. There's a few shades here that are really speaking to me. There's, hold on, I clicked away from the image here. Um, Berry Divine is really nice. So is this shade, Thulian. I really like the shade If Rose. That looks like a stunning, deeper color. Taffy is so cute. Mm, what do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'll just add the ones I like to my cart. I just saw a TikTok video saying that these ones kind of dry out her lips and that she recommended these ones instead. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this one. Plus I have a lot from the two other brands. These are the Amuse uh, Dutins and they look Stunning. Okay, so here's some swatches. Breeze looks really nice and soft. They're so vibrant. Maybe I should throw in a peachy. Oh, Fig Dew is stunning. Stunning. <laughs> stunning. Oh, Spring Night? Sunday? Oh, this one is so nice too. Honestly, every single one of these colors are a dream. Okay, so this is fun because you can see the 
stain too. So smart, such good marketing photos. Pleasing is stunning. This Dubok Soong is really nice. 13, maybe I'll just go by the numbers. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> Control yourself, girl. I'm getting too excited. Okay, what should I do here? I think I'm gonna go with spring night, 8, 13, and 14. 8, 13, 14. Okay, and these are the final products I'm looking at. So all of these shades look magical. So Evening Pale looks so nice. This Toasty Cherry looks so ethereal. Like it looks like fairy lips, you know? Same with Coral Dusty, Afterlight Pink, Silent Wine. Oh. And it's really cute that they put like a recommended for your undertone for cool undertones, warm undertones. It's really nice. The mauve plum is really stunning. Oh, and a combination. It's so satisfying and it's such great inspiration, especially if you're newer to makeup. Really awesome. <laughs> I want all of them. What do I do? Coral Dusty is really nice. Toasty Cherry is just so nice. <laughs> Holy. Okay, I'm really interested in this one. I think I have to get that. And it's different from the other colors I picked. And Silent Wine. So we have 25 things in my cart, or 24. Let's look at my cart now. <laughs> $530, this is definitely not what I wanna to spend today. So I'm going to cut this down. We have so much here, holy crap. So starting from the bottom here, I think I'm going to cut this highlighter out. I'm more interested in the heart one. I'll just save this for another time. I put like a few shades of every product in here. I should most likely try one of each to see if I actually like the formula. So let's maybe do that. I'm gonna get spring salmon instead of bright pink in this texture, the the velvet lip or whatever. Okay, Roman Juicy Lasting Bear Tint in Nucadamia. I really want that one. Amuse Dew Tint Ro Rose Dew. Okay, Fig Fig, I really wanted that one. The Juicy Pang jelly blusher and fig which would look really cute with fig fig and grape which is like a nice cool toned pink okay i want to get this eye switch from 3ce i'm going to get the shade rose stream in the glasting water tint from romand i'll just save that one for later it made me lose my spot damn i have so many things in here <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep this cotton candy blusher for another time. I don't know about this purple powder blush. I'm going to save that for another time. I think I'm going to keep the Romand uh, mascaras. I'm really excited about those. Well, actually, I'm going to keep the Cleo one in there too because I have a black, a brown, and a gray. I'm going to keep these Romand palettes in here for right now. Uh, this is the Dew Tint in the shade Breeze. I'll keep that for a second. Midnight Mauve, Silent Wine, Toasted Cherry. Hmm. <laughs> See, like I want all of these things. <laughs> I'm having a hard time cutting down my cart, you guys. <laughs> So these ones are on sale. Most of these things are on sale, so that's nice. Um, I feel like I should cut out one of the hearts. I have two of the balms. I'm going to get a powder and a cream. No, I want both of the cream ones and I'm going to save that one for another time. <laughs> that sounds better to me. It keeps kicking me up or down. It's confusing me. I'm going to remove Thulian for another time. I think I'm good with one false set. Mm, no, I'll try that too keeps mixing up my cart and I'm getting confused. Spring Salmon, yes, I want that. This Holy Beam Highlighter, yes. This, yes. This, yes. This, yes. This for sure, yes. Yes and yes. This, feeling unsure, therefore I'm going to save it for another time. This I'm sure about, this I'm sure about, this I'm sure about, that I'm sure about. Okay, so this is where my cart is at now. <laughs> I'm going to just sit on this. Maybe I'll roof some things, maybe add things back. I kind of want to cut it down to $300 if possible. So we'll see. I'm just going to get a fresh eye on this in a little bit. 
but I'm going to leave it at this. And once this arrives to me, I'm going to be filming a first impressions video with all of these products. Very, very excited to try these in person. They all sound so lovely. So I guess we're gonna just have to be a little patient on that. I don't know when this is going to arrive to me, but that is going to be it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and shopping along with me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have everything I end up getting linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in part two. Bye guys.